Nasi goreng ni sangat tuaf, tidak jadi mak. Eh, masa lah nasi goreng buat tuaf di gafin. Ishe. Jom mak. Kau ambil asam di sini. Eh, tu lah jom mak. Ini nak kasih di sini. Kau nasi goreng ni nak kasih di sini. Kau ambil tu abang. Leo, mau di sana. Di sini jom bapa yang. ちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるちょっと見えるち
you must have a lot of experience of sufferings, you know, of dangers. I was asking God to give me the wisdom, the wisdom of not to be quick, to be angry, you know. And those qualities helped me a lot. I've been a witness of many, many things. So I know what I'm, I'm doing. I know the limits of things. What cards I must use now? Sometimes you have to deal even with the devil and the good people at the same time. The majority of our population don't know what is going on, even in Congo. All the stories of crime, of insecurity, of looting, of rape, are just around the minerals of Congo. It's a scandal. They call it geological scandal. Because here we have uranium. It's uranium from Congo that uh, they throw on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We have cobalt. We have diamond. We have gold. We have cotton. We have cassiterite. We have tourmaline. We have all the minerals you can think in your head here in Congo. And some others we don't know even its what. <laughs> So, you understand that this country is a paradise, that this is why we don't, we don't understand how ourselves we are poor in such a country. I'm going to ask where is the ministry of Canada? Ministry of Information. Division. Division. Information. Audio. It doesn't exist, but you have it. Sweet, the intelligence guy sent us to a place that doesn't exist. No one knows the place, but they sent me to the division of trans transport and communication. They say maybe you can find a division inside. <laughs> I think we're gonna find it, or I think we're gonna create it while we're here. I'll probably come. Bro, kill a butwa piko muiwai. Anata onesha kama na yuwa. After the war, life was very good. From 19, 1967, but at that time, Mobutu was in good relationship with Europeans, with the Western countries. In 1973, he went to the UN, he made a speech. And this speech was the, the problem, the, start, the beginning of the problem in Congo, because he insulted white people. 
Le monde se divise en deux camps, les dominés et les dominateurs, les exploités et les exploiteurs. Notre pays n'a pas seulement souffert à cause de l'impréparation politique, mais également et surtout suite à la convoitise de l'Ouest et de l'Est, les uns et les autres voulant avoir une influence déterminante sur nous afin d'être maîtres de nos importantes ressources naturelles. Mon pays est prêt à affronter ce combat sacré, quels qu'en soient les sacrifices, et nous ne reculerons jamais, quoi qu'il arrive, quoi qu'il en coûte. And then they said, okay, Congo will never receive funds anymore. And that's when Mobutu on the television, he said, okay, guys, we have a problem. So from now on, everybody for himself, and that for us all. And he told soldiers, I can't give you guns and give you salaries. Okay? So, there started now the misery of Congolese. And he, he starts to insult me. He's going to beat me. <laughs> you don't have legs. <laughs> All the population became very, very miserable. Our fathers were not paid. So if you are in an office, before giving a signature, give me $20, you see? And this is how everywhere it's become a normal system. I couldn't get a, a job, so I went to Rwanda. In Rwanda, I was working in hotels. It's there that I started to play music. Uh, I met a group of young Congolese, so we started a music group. We got a big su success in Rwanda. In Rwanda, there were two ethnic Hutus and Tutsis. They were a problem big problem between them. Sometimes Hutu will take the power, Tutsi will take the power. I was singing for Hutus and Tutsis. I had friend Tutsi, I had friend Hutus. We were living in peace with my wife, okay? She was a wonderful wife. I met her because of music. One day I was singing, I was singing and then she came, she kissed me and talked to me in the ear saying, okay, I love you, I really love you, love you. Okay, I didn't take care because, okay, I was a young bachelor. Okay, many girls were coming around, around me. But she managed to discover where I was living. And then she came up at my place four days later. And then it was finished. Uh, and then I, f I, f I fell in love with her. We lived 80 years together before they come to kill her. Most of the casualties are being inflicted by government troops and their allied militias, as they systematically slaughter civilians in what appears to be an attempt to exterminate Rwanda's 700,000 strong minority population from the Tutsi tribe. We stayed in the, during the genocide. We saw uh, everything. No one could believe that they will kill people until nearly one million people only because they are Tutsis. I was sitting in the sitting room with my kids, playing, okay, I was playing guitar with them, showing them some, okay, and then she was in the kitchen, and then came four in Terahab, well armed with guns. They said, okay, we are coming here to look for the snake that lives here. I said, what kind of, of snake? When she heard the voices, she thought, it was my friends from my, my music band. She opened the door of the kitchen 
and one of the, the, the guys shouted, this is the snake we are looking for. So they pulled her out of the house and they wanted to kill her with the machetes. The children were, were there. And the, then I started to discuss and say, please, instead of killing her with machetes and knives, kill her with bullets. And then they said, no, snakes are, are not meant to, to, to be killed with bullets. It's a loss for us. And then they started to beat her. And then I paid 5,000 won these francs to kill my wife with the bullets. But I couldn't fight, I couldn't do any, anything. The children were, were there, so I had to take the children inside the house. When I pushed the children inside the house, they, they shot two times. When I came back, she was there. And then the guys left. This is how they killed me. I'm sorry. At that time, I tried even to look for those guys. The people who killed my wife crossed the border two months later after me because they were chased now from the power. They lost the country. They had to, 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 to be refugees to come. Well, these rebels were here and are still here to loot minerals. <laughs> At that time of the boom of Colton, one kilo was $100. So everybody was in Colton, so during the war. All the holes in the bush were controlled by the rebels. Planes from Uganda, from Tanzania, from Rwanda will come straight and land on those aer small airports we, we saw. I said, okay, now I am in Congo, in my country. I know people who can help me kill these people. I'm going to look for them. But God helped me. I didn't see that. Once in my life, I could, I could kill you, you see. And at the end, I understood that the hatred you have, it, it doesn't destroy the people for whom you have it, you know, but it destroys yourself. We'll be thinking, lost in your thoughts. That's what happened to me. And I was really killing myself. 
And by that time, I was killing my children too, because they needed me to be strong. They needed all the love they lost for me. So I start to pray God to give me the, the strength, the heart to forgive and to forget. <laughs> At that time, I started to live again. I started to talk, to play with my kids. And my children started to change completely. It took maybe five years, five, six years, before I could really feel I can live it. It's not easy, but there is no other alternative. In a katika ambreage. And <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> When I came back after the genocide in 1994, I started to work for MONUSCO, the UN mission in Congo. At that time, war everywhere, people were killed everywhere, and MONUSCO couldn't do anything. Anything. Why? The mandate was, you are there just to observe. You are not there to be mixed in the Congolese problem. So, Monique base will be there, and they will be killing people maybe 200 meters from there. They won't move from their bases to protect the population. I was in charge of doing the damage control of all the the, 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 the they will do. I, will, I, I was there to clean because I was a Congolese. I had to explain this to my compatriots Congolese. But at a certain point, I couldn't explain something anymore. I was feeling, I was getting a lot of money on the blood of my Congolese compatriots, you know, and then I resigned. I was earning $4,500 a month. And everybody said, you are mad, but they couldn't, they couldn't imagine what I'm feeling. That's why I left. Since I've resigned from the UN, I have to, to be the fixer, to become a fixer. Je 
ni posho mzima yani juma mzima mwaka da bitid juu ya makazi na finance maziko kabisa tunaendaka kumwaka mara pili kuishi mbali ya familia na jisikiaka sijisikiage mzuri na kama naishi mbali nayo na ya kupermetre hivi mtu anaweza enda mara pili mara tatu mara ine kumwaka alipo na gisi gonyee mtu kwa anachokutana na biniko na iko nafanya si bana nikumbuka sana hata ku telefoni niko naongea na mama yao wote bana kwa wanaanza kuniuliza tarudia wakati gani takia wakati naambia ninge natumika gisi muishi jina lebi kile kibwaka mbona ha mimi ni sana jere kwa bana watu wazoongoka muombe la jopedi na pale kwenye tutaingia kesho ndio kwenye mimi na supervise sasa vile chef wa mine pale so unaona kama ni kitu kenye kilibakia ni generation na generation hakuna gisi unaweza kuiacha kasteriti napatikana kolpe napatikana au diamelo ni kanaka naye au flam turmaline hizi zizi zinapatikana hapa eto wabuja mtakuwa bia bise kwa o haya watakufa bila peki moche leo pas Tunatia kichanga muongozi. Kisha tunatia wapi soro kamata na wapi soro. Anakamata yeye. Wa maji naye anatia. Mie na mimi wa mukumbu. Hiko napandisha. Poltena kasterite. Sasa tunafika sasa kunyumba, tunakausha. Kisha kukausha, tunapeta, tuatoshe ile kichanga. Kutosha kichanga, tunakamata ema. Tunaanza pisha sasa tunaanza kuseparate kaste kwake kolta kwake njala hatuna kitu mwaii ni kuangalia gisi batoto wasipitie huko yuko tokea chonka kila siku anatoka huko anaenda chonka anakuya asubuhi anarudia anakuya bila transport bila transport tunakosa hata transport hapa tunojisha bana tuiba hapa bana tuiba musi milfra kwa siku samwa 10 kilo 20 kilo ya bila sawa sa de pana nguvu mkaji yombo ya kutumika beshi angalia leta kwenye beshi huko hii mabeshi hii tena inaisha mpaka tena mie nisukule hii kichanga nipate tena gisi ya kuuza beshi hii basi njoo ile tu na kupata hii beshi hii madiki lo diki lo njoo nipate hii beshi ndio maisha huko kwetu huko kwetu kuko hii madini iko mingi madini iko mingi mwana nguvu hana nguvu ndio anaendaka kule bandi bandi ndio anaendaka kule bandi ni nguvu niko nguvu tuende mimi ni mwana tu mpaka hivi atende kuziache juso si tena bazungu bwa bana itokea kule bana ikuya bana ifuata huko 83 84 ndio bilianja kabisa watu wakaanza kukontrole Contrairement mm, na wakati nyewe ba Belge balikuwa juu ile kweli wakati ya ba Belge wakibaka kuona unafungu atuka kuna difference juu inereye tu leo aina valere ni juu ai ai kama tike iko natoka ku ba étranger biko na kia ba ne kamat ba ne vusha mo manoza na she ba watu ya inchi atu beneficier kwa hiyo par rapport ile kwa tumbo ba Belge bo peke ndoba na beba na bana pokeza tu bale menye bakutumika awojiwa salere ye tate kwalkokara pokeo baba ya 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 si watu makayabo bana wapatia makayabo wapatia chumvi 
na mangu on travaille c'est toujours ça Imagine the digger. Those are guys who have no, never been at school. You can see they are in the village, in a remote area. There is no television. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ah. Ça va, papa? Oui, ça va. Beaucoup merci. Merci. Bon courage, hein? Merci beaucoup. Non, ne fais pas ça, madame. Ne fais pas ça. Okay, bonsoir, papa. Okay. 
they don't understand good things. They know that it is European countries, Western countries that are coming here and take our minerals. They know, but they don't understand in which ways. If the corporation comes here, they will give them some salary, but it's salary of misery, as, as before, as Belgians have done. At the end, you said, where, from where will come the solution? Because this is the system. This is the system now. Huh? How to change it? I don't know. I don't know. Tout ce qu'il faut pour commencer une matinée à Goma. Maintenant, on va le dans un seul météo. Celsius en ce moment avec une chance de pluie minime à 12%. Le Conseil national de l'Europe des avocats a décidé depuis lundi d'annuler les élections qui ont porté Maître Kitoga, civil à la tête du barreau de Goma, et en tranché pour un deuxième tour des élections. La dernière assemblée générale des avocats a été jugée irrégulière. Nous avons commencé la date de 31 juillet comme la date de la fin de l'enrôlement de l'Assemblée de nationale, la date de 30 octobre 2017 comme la date de la fin de l'Assemblée nationale et le provincial. Et ça, c'est c'est Mula kumwa na kwa shimu ataini. Nisa zabo suhui, paka magaribi, mbalimbali magaribi na toka na choka. 
Bengine bana bagombola banala ndani nao kisho na bagombolewa vya vindi ufunulia ndio tafunulia ukona irafunu sunona leo tulikuwa mbudi tuko tu saba sunona ni tuko tunakula leo maana hapa tuko hapa hapa tuseka sana hapa na muangalia atakula tu maragi ya kusamu nia huko hapa maana yake tunateseka sana sheria ningeingira kwani jana sunona na hatuna mikrobi si atakoka chimba na mikrobi ndaba <laughs> Misi uka pabule kupati isaki. Kwa mtu mwagosa vile ndugu pale na mwambie wale. Uniko peshe na kupati yaka. Siku ni mpatia ya fudande. Kwa ni mpatia vendo lani uzi maazami njoo ni tumiki. Siku ni apitele siku ya kama siku resire vile niku atafuta mwile lani function na ingia mkasho. Mbo unona mze aferi ya ya kusha ya kusha vei ya minere. Shitu natoka kapu na kama minere labda iku mvei fulani mundifo za bukavu. Satu natoka kapu watuambia ya kisate kilo ndi dolari. Wana itosha hapa suma ifisha kule kontuari. Bale wazungu wanaangalia umbiaba na kuambia kama ele mina shuka munivo ya Londri. Bakisha kuambia vile hauna, we bana kuanisha kama kuna majio hauna frank. Bale bale bana kuanisha kama kuambia atakuzia mkatri dolari. Hakuna kisi tutafanya. Asa, misi mbona ikosa la mbona kwetu na huu? Acha kilamba angu pale. Wewe kuona kitu tu unaanza kivala. Kumbe ni yako hii. Eh. Eh, kama kuna kisa kupesha kupesha mwenye jumi niko mkarere saa hii na hakuna maana nipatie lare saa hii. Wewe uko peshe tu kusudi atoke kwanza. No. Matoi kwa. Ile na matoi kwa. Boni ngeke kwa bako Sasa mm. tutapiwa kibambazi pale tuanze bomo na bomo na kwa kio pale mbele. Sivyo rake kwa nini? Ah. Eh bana dulishi hai. Wewe leta torshi kwa msa angalie pia. Nipatie torshi nani pia? Leta nani torshi? Leta torshi niko nani? Eh? Eh hey, bwana sasa ma araba ili jua sasa unaiwezaka eh hey, bwana eh 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 Sisi cheza na hizi lari mimi nakwambia pia. Hauna, mshushu wangu ana kule. Hakuna. Hapa tatuona tuko banani. Mbongo mm. DC. Mshushu wapi? Wewe kama shughuli za kwamba ni makosa. Una sana set tena ndamaliza tena 50 tena venta. Mm. Mm. Niko mm. mm. na 50 mm. mm. venta kuvaliza ni affair. Eh? Hauna vile. Jiko zeka ni rapidi sana. Sasa ingelikuwa mwe na bei. Kasi zikwe na bei mm. sawa. Ne kila wakati ni kushuka kushuka kama ile mizabo kama ile mimashuki ile mtu mwingine bichina bichina Usikia yuvuka bali tunalivuka tukuka bana eh 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 ali chap You are mine that now I'm going to come up here eh 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 I'm going to come up here I'm going to come up here Nasema ndio. Eh. Regarde. 
We know that the minerals of Congo, you know, have helped many countries to, to develop themselves. So Congo had contributed for the progress of the world. If the minerals of Congo were not there, the economy of the world will go down and many, many countries will suffer, really. Imagine if there is not phone anymore. God, how can we live again in our world without phone, without a computer, <laughs> without a plane? <laughs> it would be really a disaster. Uh, we'll come back to the prehistoric period, you see. <laughs> I can't say that uh, Congolese, we are in control of our destiny. Uh, no, because the one who benefits from our minerals are not the local population. But uh, Western countries are the ones who are taking everything. They are making themselves rich while we are getting poor and poor. I'm afraid even for my children, because they will continue in this system to be slaves forever. We'll never be uh, enough powerful to challenge the Western countries. So the future will be the future of slaves. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think our children will be able to solve the problem that we didn't solve. You know. Les chrétiens, les autorités présentes ont déposé des gerbes de fleurs au monument aux morts de Cagnola, dont les nombres avoisinent les 1600. Tous les lois de circonstances prononcées ce jour ont condamné les actes de l'homme perpétrés sur les paisibles citoyens et sur les citoyens jusqu'à déchirer tous les tissus économiques du monde de Cagnola. Plus de 35 000 vaches. It helps me sometimes to shed tears after that I feel somehow released. What's hard to keep in? We don't understand what kind of system they have put on to rule this world. I don't talk about the other country. I'm talking about my country. I'm talking about my family. And the worst, I don't see. I don't see a solution. I don't think there is a solution. I think I think that my wife keeps in front of my eyes. Many times she'll come back when I'm alone. I'll see her talking to me. I'll, I will hear her talking to me. Now, I have a big problem with the children. I don't know what to do with them. I would like them to go abroad. Just to forget this region. They have right to happiness. Too. They have right to joy. But in this region, they will never get this. Get this. I'm struggling. I try to stay, to stay stable. I try to have a normal life. But it's sad, look. Sometimes I feel I'm dead.
after they have killed my wife in Rwanda, I got married to another wife. Other people go to church to look for, you know, uh, serious uh, girls. Others will go into schools, other to serious families, you know. But I decided to go to look for my wife in a bar, a night club. I've been through many sufferings. I have, I know, I have love to give. So I went in the bar. She was there sitting on a chair herself, drinking a beer. And then I said, that's her. I called her and we started talking. And then I said, you know what? From now on, you are my wife. She was looking at me like this. What? You don't even know me? I said, no, I don't, I don't need to know, to know you. And then we went together to my place since that day. Until now, we are together. She went into the bar just by accident or not? No. She was a prostitute at that time. She was really a prostitute. But she had forgotten everything. And sometimes she'd say, she look at me and say, thank you. Because if I continue that, that life, maybe I'll be dead now. You know? But I say, never thank you. How can you thank me? I love you. That's all. Tango <laughs> Saga. I 